Zidovudine is a medication used with other HIV medications to help control HIV infection. It works by decreasing the amount of HIV in your body so your immune system can work better. This lowers your chance of getting HIV complications, such as new infections and cancer, and improves your quality of life. Zidovudine belongs to a class of drugs known as nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors NRTs. In addition to its use in adults, Zidovudine is also used in pregnant women to prevent passing the HIV virus to the unborn baby. It is also used in newborns born to mothers infected with HIV to prevent infection in the newborns. It's important to note that Zidovudine is not a cure for HIV infection. To decrease your risk of spreading HIV disease to others, it is important to continue taking all HIV medications exactly as prescribed by your doctor. It is also important to use an effective barrier method, latex or polyurethane condoms slash dental dams, during sexual activity as directed by your doctor, and to not share personal items that may have come into contact with blood or other body fluids. The daily dosage and optimal timing of Zidovudine will be determined by your doctor. Be sure to consult your doctor or pharmacist for more details and to address any concerns you may have. When taking Zidovudine, it's important to follow your doctor's instructions. You may need to take it two to three times a day, with or without food. Make sure to drink a full glass of water with each dose, unless your doctor tells you otherwise. If you're using the liquid form, be sure to measure the dose carefully with a special device, not a regular spoon. The amount you take will depend on your medical condition and how you respond to the treatment. For children, the dosage is based on their weight. Pregnant women may need to take it five times a day, and newborns are usually given the liquid form every six hours for six weeks after birth. To get the best results, take your medication at the same times each day. It's important to keep taking it exactly as prescribed, without skipping any doses. And make sure to refill your medication before you run out. Don't take more or less of this drug than prescribed, and don't stop taking it without your doctor's approval. Doing so could make the virus harder to treat or worsen side effects. And remember, take this medication two hours before or after taking clarithromycin, as it may affect how your body absorbs zidovudine. If you experience headaches, nausea, vomiting, trouble sleeping, or loss of appetite, it's important to notify your doctor or pharmacist. However, many people using this medication do not have serious side effects. As your immune system gets stronger, it can begin to fight off infections you already had, possibly causing disease symptoms to come back. Be aware that you could also have symptoms if your immune system becomes overactive. Get medical help right away if you have any serious symptoms, including unexplained weight loss, severe tiredness, muscle aches slash weakness, severe or persistent headaches, joint pain, numbness slash tingling, vision changes, signs of infection, signs of an overactive thyroid, or signs of a certain nerve problem known as Guillain-Barre syndrome. It's important to tell your doctor right away if you experience mental slash mood changes, easy bruising slash bleeding, skin slash fingernail color changes, or seizures. Also, loss of body fat may occur while taking this medication, and it may be permanent. Be sure to notify your doctor if you notice any changes in body fat. If you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching slash swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing, seek medical help right away. If you experience any other effects not listed, contact your doctor or pharmacist. Zidovudine can cause severe blood problems, including a decrease in red blood cells and white blood cells. These problems are more common in people with advanced HIV disease. Your doctor will order blood tests to monitor for this and you may need to have blood transfusions or stop taking the medication. It's important to keep all medical appointments and get help right away if you develop signs of anemia or infection. This medication can also cause muscle problems, so seek medical help if you experience symptoms such as muscle weakness or pain. In rare cases, zidovudine has caused severe liver problems and a metabolic problem called lactic acidosis. If you develop symptoms such as nausea, abdominal pain, dark urine, or yellowing of the eyes and skin, or symptoms of lactic acidosis like rapid breathing and muscle aches, seek medical help immediately. It's important to note that these serious side effects may occur more often in women and obese patients. Before taking Zidovudine, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies you may have. 
This medication may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions. It's also important to discuss your medical history, especially if you have kidney or liver problems, or if you use alcohol. If you have diabetes, be cautious as liquid products may contain sugar. Before having surgery, make sure to inform your doctors about all the medications you are taking. If you are pregnant, Zytovudine can help lower the risk of passing HIV to your baby, but it's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor beforehand. It's also important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding as this medication can pass into breast milk. Always seek medical advice before using Zytovudine. It's important to be aware of any potential interactions with other medications that could affect how Zytovudine works in your body. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Some products that may interact with Zytovudine include Orlistat, Probenicid, Ribavirin, Stavudine, and drugs that may suppress bone marrow function. Other medications, such as methadone, rifampin, and drugs used to treat seizures, can also affect how Zytovudine is removed from your body. It's crucial to check the labels on all your prescription medications to ensure they do not contain Zytovudine. Always consult your doctor or pharmacist if you have any questions. Additionally, it's important to note that this medication must not be taken with other medications that contain Zytovudine. Make sure to follow your doctor's guidance and take the prescribed dosage at the recommended times. If someone has taken too much Zytovudine and experiences severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical attention. In the U.S., you can call 911 or the local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of Zytovudine overdose may include extreme drowsiness or tiredness, confusion, and seizures. It's crucial to get help right away if you suspect an overdose. It's important not to share your Zytovudine medication with others. While taking this medication, you may need to have regular lab and medical tests, such as blood counts, liver tests, viral load, and T-cell counts. Make sure to attend all of your medical and lab appointments, and consult your doctor for more information on these tests. If you forget to take a dose of Zytovudine, try to take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed one. Take the next dose at the usual time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. Remember to take Zytovudine exactly as prescribed by your doctor. When storing Zytovudine, it's important to keep it at room temperature and away from light and moisture. Avoid storing it in the bathroom and make sure to keep it out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to disposing of Zytovudine, it's important not to flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. Instead, be sure to properly discard the medication when it is expired or no longer needed. If you're unsure about how to dispose of it, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.